Well, thanks, Makia. The month of May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and it offers an opportunity to bring about understanding as well as remove the stigma attached with seeking treatment, particularly as it pertains to veterans, stress, and war. So here with more information and the impact it has on their veterans and their families is Dr. Patricia Crawford with DC Veterans Affairs Medical Center, John Seymour, a combat wounded US Army veteran and his wife and caregiver, Gloria. Welcome all of you to Great Day Washington. Thank you. Yeah. Thank I want to so start much. by saying, John, thank you so much for your service. I understand you went to Afghanistan and Iraq yes. and uh, you, were in your, you were impacted greatly. So just yes. thank you for being here today. Thank you, you're welcome. Dr. Crawford, mm -hmm. I know it's uh, very rare to have veterans come out on a public stage such as this and say, hey, I'm one of the people who are affected mentally by going to war. Can you tell me about some of the um, signs and warning signs out there that people can recognize that maybe they may need some extra help? Yes, and so most of the time, people will have, um, um, they feel down, depressed, um, they start isolating themselves, and they don't enjoy the things that they used to enjoy. And so, and oftentimes, sometimes um, they will have suicidal thoughts, which are very concerning. Absolutely, and Gloria, mm -hmm. You had an experience when your husband left the first time for more than a year. Tell me about that. So it's just really heart-wrenching, um, just trying to keep the family together because we have kids. Um, and when you get the orders to deploy um, overseas, it's like you're losing the, the main link to your home, especially when in our case, it's a husband, a father, um, the big brother. We're losing him and you, you hear everything that's happening uh, on the news with the theater of combat and you're just wondering, am I gonna get my loved one back? So the, the thought plays in the back of your head, but you in reality and physical have to be very strong for your loved one because they have to be in the sort of frame of mind. I know um, my husband, when he got ready to deploy, he didn't want the kids to be there for the send off. And I couldn't understand that. We need to be there as a family unit. We need to support mm -hmm. you. And he was adamant about not having that because he needed to be in a certain mental space and he did not want to see his kids see him head for danger, which is, you know, in reality, it's danger. And John, were your kids there? Did you get your wishes when you deployed? No, they, they weren't there. Okay, they but when there. you came back, your wife said it wasn't the same husband who left. No. What no. changed? Uh, combat, seeing the, the things that we went through over there, um, I wasn't really prepared for, and it was, it was really hard. We, we lost uh, four soldiers, and um, it was just, I wasn't ready for that. You, you came back, but then you were deployed a second time. Yes, but because of the injuries I suffered from my first deployment, I was brought back early. What made you two decide, we're going to go get some extra help for the sake of our family? I have a lot of soldiers that, were, that committed suicide, and when I first returned, I was dealing with depression and anxiety, and I, I needed help, so I turned to my wife, who I suggest I go to the VA and seek mental help. That's amazing. I'm so mm -hmm. glad that you're here talking about this because most people think, Dr. Crawford, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be stigmatized, there's gonna be something on a form that says mm -hmm. I got help. Mm -hmm. And it's just not the case. You, you offer traditional and alternative uh, care and treatment. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, a lot of people don't want to be on medication and you don't always have to be on medication. There are different alternative therapies. We have anger management, stress management, um, cognitive behavioral therapy, dialectical behavior, behavioral therapy. So there's multiple things that you know um, you can take part in to help with um, your mental health. I understand John started taking up yoga as a result <laughs> of going to the VA <laughs> Medical Center. Yeah. Tell me about your newfound yoga moves here. It, it's a work in progress. Uh, I was shocked when I really got into it. Um, it. It was very hard, like I said, work in progress, but it's, it's coming along pretty good. How is yoga helping you? It teaches me to relax. It helps me with my breathing. Um, it takes my mind to a better place, so I'm not focused on what I went through when I was deployed. So it's, it's really worked, worked out for me. John, well, your meditation as well. And huh? he's meditating yes. as well. Good meditation. Well, your wife is smiling, you're <laughs> smiling, and the doctor is smiling. Yes. Thank you so much for informing and inspiring our community with Thank your story. You.